Hi everyone, today we'll be learning how to play So Sick by Neo and it sounds like this. What's up everybody, my name is Simone from Your Guitar Academy. In this So Sick guitar lesson we'll be learning how to play the chords and a couple of different versions for the arrangement on guitar of this song by Neo. Guys, just before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see all the other guitar lessons uh, that we upload here on YouTube. So this lesson is uh, brought to you because uh, somebody in the comments requested uh, this tutorial of So Sick by Neo um, when we uploaded the tutorial for Closer. So if you are a Neo fan, uh, check the tutorial for uh, Closer out as well that you can find here in this YouTube channel. Uh, okay guys, so let's get started saying that today we are playing the acoustic guitar in standard tuning with the capo on the second fret. Now, uh, let's have a look at the chords that we need to learn this song first of all. So the first chord that we need to play is a C sharp minor 7. Obviously, when I say C sharp minor 7, I refer to a C sharp considering the guitar neck starting from the capo on the second fret. So the real name of this chord, the real pitch would be a D sharp minor 7 or E flat minor 7, but I will call it C sharp minor 7, pretending that we were playing from the beginning of the fret but we know capo even though we are capo 2. So from capo 2 you find a C sharp minor 7 with the bar on the fourth fret. So you will bar the 4th fret until the A string, muting the E on top, like this, and then playing an A minus 7 shape with these two fingers, 1 and 2. This is your C sharp minus 7. After that we go to an A major 7. Now to play this A major 7, I like to play the A on the bass, 5th fret on the E string with my thumb, I mute the A string with my thumb as well, and then I play 3, 4 on the 6th fret D and G strings, then 2 on the 5th fret of uh, the B string, and then the 1 is playing the major 7 on the 4th fret of the high E string, like this. Next chord that we need is F sharp minus 7, that I play with the thumb playing the 2nd fret F sharp on the E string, the first finger playing an A shape, so D, G and B strings, second fret doing a bar. And then I also use my little finger to do a hammer on uh, to play the 9, so this becomes an F sharp minor 9. Um, to do a hammer on, I was saying, between the 2nd and the 4th fret on the high E string, so doing basically this chord, but played like, like this, which is a very... A neo soul uh, way of playing, R&B way to play this chord. And then the last chord that we need is going to be a B major, so bar on the second and then A shape with the ring finger, or B7 depending on uh, what you like to play in terms of melody. If you like to recall this which is the melody of the song, then you're going to play a B7 because you can play the hammer on between the second and the fourth frets on the B string, so it's going to be like If you don't want to play that melody, then you can play a regular B major and just stay there and then go back to C sharp minus 7. Okay, what is the length of this course? You're going to play this course for two beats each, so C sharp minus 7 to A major 7, 4, F sharp minus 7 to B, Okay, this is, the, this is the length of the chords. We're going to play this uh, pattern three times. I will show you now your pages and what I was playing on the right hand. And then you find two bars when you do this arpeggio, where you do this arpeggio that on the record is played by the piano. So on the record, guys, there is not much guitar. So all what I'm going to show you is an arrangement for guitar that you can play to sound similar to the record. There is an entire um, 
acoustic video that you can find on YouTube by Neo playing this in acoustic duo with his guitarist and playing exactly the, the voicings and uh, uh, rhythm that I'm going to show you now. So in these last two bars of the verse, you're going to play basically three notes in this arpeggio. Uh, the three notes are open A string, then fourth frets on the G and B strings with the ring finger and the little finger. I play the A on the bass with my pick and then I use my middle and ring fingers on my right hand to play the other two strings. So you, you play only three notes all the time, but the timing that you follow is in sixteenths. So you have a three over four timing, which means three notes in four sixteenths. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a. Then you stop on and up on the three because the four will be taken by these three notes. F sharp, G sharp, B. So second and fourth on the E and second on the B, um, playing just to start again. And when I play this, I play down, up, down with my right hand pick, and then I go back to uh, C sharp minor seven. To play these three notes, it sounds really groovy if you do a little bit of palm muting. That's what you do. Okay, so. Now, if I put together this little block without having a look uh, yet to the right hand, it sounds like one, two, three, four, 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 third time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, now, let's have a look at what I was playing on the right hand. This is more of an intermediate, maybe advanced, I don't know, version of this arrangement. Then I will show you a more beginner-friendly version if you want to play only the chords without the embellishments and you want to play maybe finger-picking. So, uh, what I was doing on the first chord is this little arpeggio. To play this, what I really do I do my C sharp minor seven. I'll come closer to the camera to show you without the second finger, playing a downstroke that goes slowly between A, D, G, and B string. And on the B string, I do the hammer on with the second finger. So I play. Then I remove it and I play the B string with an upstroke and then the G string with an upstroke. So that the melody is to recall a little bit the melody of the vocals. If you have the song in mind and the vocal part in mind. So it's going to be. Then from here, I anchor my ring finger, I go to my A major 7 and I play a little arpeggio. I usually do down, up, up on a couple of strings. These strings can actually change, could be G and D or could be B and, uh, and G. So feel free to actually experiment different arpeggio patterns. And you can use the E string as well. The chord is this one. You can arpeggiate any string you like to create this. You know, you just need to stay inside the two bits, but you can play really any kind of string you like. Then you go to F sharp minus seven, and I start always from the root now. So always from the E string. And then I do another down stroke, doing the hammer on that I was showing you before with a little finger. So like. And then I remove it and I play again the E string. That's all what I do normally on the F sharp minor nine. Or maybe you can play an extra upstroke on the B string. But again, it's up to you. If you like to play just three downstrokes or four downstrokes, that's fine as well. You just need to stay in the two beats. This is the chord and you can play a little bit with the arrangement on the right hand. The last chord, as I said, usually I play So to play this, I play on the B7, so not B major, but B7. I play A string, D string, and then G and B together, doing the hammer on between the second and the fourth fret of the B string with a little finger, like, like this. And then I start again. And then I just repeat this three times, then I follow the two bars with the arpeggio. At the end of the, sec of the second bar, I play the three notes and I start once more. This recalls a little bit the melody and it's a very R&B way to play embellishments on these uh, four chords. 
Okay, guys, so this is my uh, arrangement for it, like... And you can play the entire song like this. Then uh, there is only one bridge that happens at some point where you play B one bar, A one bar, four times. So you're going to play eight bars, basically like... So let's have a look at the strumming pattern. What I was playing is down, And you repeat this four times. So if we go slowly uh, through the uh, through the eight bars of the bridge, it's going to be B two three four A two three four 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 and then you start again with the normal pattern. Now, the strumming pattern I was playing was down, 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 down. Again, second time. All right, so once more, feel free to change even this strumming pattern as you wish, as you find, uh, as you find it more uh, closer to the, to actually closer to the sound in the in the record. So feel free to change a little bit this strumming pattern. Okay, let's see now a more beginner-friendly version. So if you just want to play no pick, finger picking, only this chord. My advice would be to play only C sharp minor seven with four fingers, thumb, index, middle, and ring on the A, D, G, and B together. Maybe playing another string before a percussion on two. Then A, same strings, just playing the A here. It's a normal A major, not even an A, an a major seven, just an A. Then once you have this A here, you can just add your thumb and you can play F sharp minus seven, and then you can play B here, bar and A shape. So I'll come closer and I will show you this more beginner friendly version. It's going to be one. Again, so C sharp minus seven, A, F sharp minus seven, B, and then after the third time, you still do the arpeggio. This is not too difficult, it's only two fingers. And then if you want, you do this, or you can just skip it, and then go back to... It's just important to have groove and to play a little bit laid back. If you're a little bit more advanced and you like to play this kind of things, you can add some ghost notes, like this, when you do the percussion. completely up to you. So this, yeah, it's my uh, more beginner-friendly version of this song, and then the bridge is going to be the same. Only B and A, with any kind of arpeggio that you feel it sounds good in the, on the groove. Remember that the percussions that I'm doing are always on two and four. One and a two and three and four. One and a two and three and four. If you feel that this is uh, okay for you, but you would like to have the dun, 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 the classic melody of this song, then you can do the same on the C sharp minor seven, just adding the hammer on with the second finger. So dun, dun, dun. the rest is all the same. Again, so dun, 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 dun. 
that's what you do. Four strings at the same time, hammer on, and then again the B string. And you continue like this for the whole song until the arpeggio and then the bridge, which happens only once in the whole song. Okay guys, so this is literally all what you need to play this So Sick by Neo, amazing R&B tune. So, and don't forget to check, um, to check out the closer tutorial as well that you find in our channel. If you need anything about these um, uh, chord diagrams, if you need to see them again and to uh, actually follow a diagram for them, remember that you find the full write-up of this lesson for free, clicking in the link in the description here below. Uh, all right, so, so guys, subscribe to our channel to see all the other guitar lessons that we have here on YouTube. And thanks a lot for watching. I will see you next time.